Hey man, when it comes to building bigger quadriceps, there are a ton of great exercises you can choose from. However, the key to improving any specific body part is reducing the amount of exercises you do and focus on getting better at the most important exercises. I'm gonna give you my top three exercises for building bigger quads, and then I want you to focus on giving maximum effort to each one of those exercises. Also, slow down and control the eccentric portion of the lift. Typically, I recommend a three to four second cadence when you lower each rep, pause for about a second at the bottom of the movement, and then explode back up to the top and squeeze each contraction as hard as you possibly can at the top of the movement. And then do this for every single rep. Also, at the end of this video, I'm gonna explain how to set this up if you're a beginner lifter, intermediate lifter, or an advanced lifter. With that said, let's get started with these exercises, man. Now you know what exercises you need to be doing to blow those quads up, but it's up to you to make sure you do them correctly. Again, every single rep is crucial, all right? Every rep of every set. Don't just go through the motions when you do these, but really get that mind-muscle connection going and pay attention to the full range of motion, okay? If you're a beginner, I recommend starting out with three sets of each of these exercises and aim for hitting 10 to 12 reps of each just to fill out the movement and learn how to do everything correctly. It's nine total working sets. Also warm up with two or three acclimation sets first to get your muscles primed for the working sets. These warm-up sets aren't included in the nine total sets. For you intermediate lifters, out there, I'm going to recommend four sets of each exercise, and I also want you to focus on changing up the rep ranges with each exercise. You also may be shocked to see that of the three exercises for quads, I did throw in leg extensions, all right? I know a lot of people don't like doing leg extensions, but here is the reason they're in there. I like to use them as a pre-exhaust exercise, meaning get a ton of blood flow into your quads before you go into your heavier lifts. Also, it's going to help warm up and lubricate your knees. That's a big deal. If your knees are achy, if your knees feel weak, then it's gonna be hard to do those compound movements. So I really like doing some lighter weight, higher rep leg extensions. I'm talking 15 to 20 reps, but I've even gone as high as 30 reps. So you're gonna do all your sets there first. Again, you're gonna get a lot of blood flow into quads, in the quads, get some synovial fluid in your joints. Then once you're done there, then we get into the actual heavy quad work. So from there, the Bulgarian split squats. Here's the thing with the Bulgarian split squats. You want to do each side independently when I'm talking about the rep ranges. So where you see 10 to 12 reps, that doesn't mean five or six on one side, five or six in the other. That means 10 to 12 reps with your left, then 10 to 12 reps with your right. That's one set. So that's how you're gonna structure that. The other thing with those is I like to step a little bit more shallow into that. The further you step out or the further you get back when you're doing a Bulgarian split squat, the less emphasis on your quads. All right, it's gonna place a little bit more emphasis on your glutes, on your adductors. So to really hit those quads, I want your body and the weight to be directly over your leg, all right? Directly over your leg and really focus on squeezing the quadricep at the top of the movement. That's where the mind-muscle connection is really gonna help you out with this exercise. Again, you wanna really lower yourself slow and under control using that three to four second cadence with each rep and then hold that little pause at the bottom, explode back up and then contract that quad with each rep that you do. That's gonna help make sure you're emphasizing your quadricep more than your glutes and your adductors. Now for that third, man, 
The third one, I like doing front squats. I have a front squat machine. Most gyms have a front squat machine. So that's why you see me using that. I love the isolation that that machine allows. Here's the thing, if you don't have the machine though, you can still do front squats with the barbells. So do barbell front squats, even dumbbell front squats. The only difference with dumbbell front squats is when you get a little stronger in weight, when your quads get really strong, sometimes your upper body, your arms can't support the dumbbell weight, which is typically why I would recommend doing a barbell over a dumbbell if you have access to that. And my preference is always gonna be the front squat machine though, because again, it allows you to remove stabilizer muscles. And when you're really trying to emphasize a specific leg muscle, like quads over glutes or quads over adductors or anything like that, then it's better to remove the stabilizer muscles as much as possible, and which is why I like the machine. It's all quadricep work, man. Really focus on stretching the quads on the way down, lower that eccentric, and then concentrically when you're lifting the weight, explode and at the top, contract those quads. That's gonna help emphasize the quads a whole lot more. So doing those three exercises is gonna add a lot of size to your quads. But all right, man, if you have any questions about any of this, comment below and let me know. Also, if you like this style video, leave me a comment and let me know. With that said, get busy, get after it, and God bless.